What's going on World Wide Web? It is your boy Trey Libra and today is Monday July 18th. It is 2 p.m. I've had a stressful stressful afternoon and morning. Um, My son and his mother, Adria right there, say what up to the people. What up? She is originally, his mother is originally from Michigan, which is a bordering state to the country, Canada, all right? So when she go back home, the end of this summer, she wants to go to Canada. And in order to go to Canada, sometimes, I think most of the time, you need a passport. So she's applying for a passport card for herself and the young one. But in order to apply for a passport, you have to be, the both parents have to be present for the child. So I figure I'd help out. You know, they charge you for the passport photo and everything. You know, knowing me being a professional photographer and videographer, I figure I'll cut costs for them and um, take their photos. But uh, come to find out, um, you can't use your own photos. Yeah, you cannot use your own photos. You have to get your photos done from a professional place such as Walgreens, uh, CVS. I want, uh, let me let me scratch that professional place. A um, mm, registered place or a uh, yeah a place that I guess is registered with the U.S. government. You got to get it done either at the post office. Um, CVS, Walgreens, and I think JC Penney's might be in on that. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so I took the photos, uh, and um, luckily I was out of photo paper for my printer because I wouldn't have found this out because I went to take the SD card to Walgreens and I needed help with the machines there, and the lady tells me that you know you can't, you know, use your own photos. You know, they want a two by two photo, so I was gonna cut it out myself and just, you know, take it down to the post office or the courthouse. And nope, you cannot use your own photos. So we we decided to go ahead and have the photos done right there on spot at Walgreens. And um, they pull down this white screen, and then this lady whoops out a point and shoot camera that's probably like a hundred dollars or less. I was pissed off. And they charge like $12 for the photos, right? And you have to get two photos done for each person who is applying for a passport card or a passport. And then once you fill out all your passport application information and you go either to the post office or the courthouse, they then have the audacity to give you one of those photos back. Yep. So you can see where I was pissed off at. About to call the homie GP. He just called me and left a voice message. He also commented on my last uh, vlog that I uploaded. You got a hush back there, okay? About to get on the phone. Hello? What's going on, bro? Hey, hey, just to let you know up front, bro, you on the vlog, you being vlogged right now. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to turn the volume up so the camera can hear you. Okay, okay. Say what up to the people, man. What's going on, America? It's your boy, GP. Word up. GP what? from North Carolina. All right. Sitting here with my man, Trey Dale, Trey Libra. That's what's up, that's the what's legend, up. The living legend. Aw, oh, man, get on out of here. Bro. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, man. I love you, man. Love you too, bro. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and shut you off, because I know we finna get into, uh, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on. All right. Now, we are at Wawa's, um, and we want a snack. So, I'ma get a zebra cake, and you're gonna get a what? What are you gonna get? 
A cookie. Tell the camera. The cookie. All right. Wait, what? I think the I've um. Round. I'm gonna get the foot round. Woo! Four minutes and 25 seconds already. Um, I'm gonna get a foot drown. You holding the camera too close to your face. You gotta hold it out a little bit. Like this? Yep. That's dope. And I'm gonna get a foot drown. And, and we're going in right now. Going in right now? Okay. Uh huh. Come on, you're shaking the camera too much. Come on. Thank you so much. And we're already in. Come on. Oh, here. You done? That's how you get two snacks. That's how you get two snacks. Only one. And then you gotta brush your teeth afterwards, alright? Get one, look. There's the zebra cakes and there's the fudge rounds. What do you want? Oh, you changed your mind. She you want me to. <laughs> Oh. Hey, you hit my chest with this on accident. Yeah? Uh-huh. Thank you, honey. Uh-huh. My name is Avril. Wait, what is it now? Avril. Oh, that's a pretty name. Say thank that's you. That's a nice name. Well, let me not say pretty. It's a handsome name. Uh-oh, he's going to correct you, Listen, too. Oh, yeah, my son do, too. He be um, before we get started, I want to read something to y'all right quick, all right? You would never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routines. That's a quote from John C. Maxwell. And what that said is, I wake up every day without a plan or an, uh, an agenda, and it's pretty much the same routine every day. So um, I'm looking to break this doggone cycle. So today, my son, Azriel, and I are at uh, Largo Central Park in Largo, Florida. And um, I decided to, um, I decided that we are going to work out today. Um, I'm going to stretch. We're going to stretch and try some high intensity interval training, better known as HIT. Um, I, yeah, I want to burn some of this fat. I want to get rid of some of this fat. You know, I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of talking about it. So I'm going to try to get into a routine. And, Three. And, go ahead, baby. And, and say that I, and say that I want to play. And he want to play when I'm done. He wants to play at the playground. And we might do that. But anyhow, yeah, let's get it. much but I feel like I gotta throw up now I did eat a little bit before I came out here but I really feel like I gotta throw up I sprinted maybe a total of eight to ten times yeah so all you uh, fitness experts out there please don't laugh at me don't crack on me I'm new at this
So, I just got back from um, the park working out and um, kind of in between the workout and after the workout, I start feeling um, nauseous, nauseated, however you're supposed to say that word. I was never quite educated on that word. But um felt really weak, trembly, and um, felt like I had to throw up. But um, I had water, and I want to say I ate strawberries and scrambled eggs uh, with coconut oil in the eggs scrambled. Maybe an hour and a half to two hours prior to the workout. And um, I drunk water throughout the workout. And the type of workout I was doing was uh, sprints jogs, push-ups, and um, rope jumping. Um, if you are a physician, you're watching this, or you are like um, an expert in um, health and working out, whatever, if you can drop down in the comment section, uh, or put down in the comment section, I'm sorry, uh, what might be going on with me? Um, I would I would be glad and I would really appreciate it. But here's a strange thing. So I uh, walked over to the playground with my son. I was really weak, really nauseous, uh, nauseated or whatever. And um, I told him we had to go because I didn't, you know, I felt like I was gonna probably like pass out. So I got in the car, continued drinking my water. Um, cut on the AC and I noticed like slowly the feeling started to go away but then I started to get hungry so then I um came home and I um made myself a, um, a smoothie a fruit smoothie pineapples strawberries uh, peaches flaxseed uh, granola dab of raw honey banana and water so um I'm going to end this vlog today uh, with this. Um, yeah. Uh, so, um, please pardon me if there's a lot of yes, a lot of, and a lot of ums. Um, the, these vlogs are not scripted. And, you know, in, in your mind, you're always trying to think of the next word. So, please forgive me if I'm saying um. Yeah, and and a lot, okay? Um, hopefully, it's not annoying you. Anyhow, it's your boy Trey Libra. And I'm um, trying to get on the path of healthy living, uh, healthy thinking, positive thinking. And I, I, I really want to change my stars, you know? I, I really want to uh, change my lifestyle. All right, till next time. Peace.